Hello my Hello Kitty fans, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. In today's video, it's a part two to my haul from the Spectrum Collections and the Hello Kitty collaboration. It was such a beautiful collaboration. I am so happy that I got it, but I did promise you that I was gonna make a part two because I did wanna give my honest review on the brushes. Okay, I'm very curious about how they do when I wash them. So these were very pricey brushes, these Spectrum Collections brushes, and I'm just gonna use a Beauty Blender soap. Uh, I don't really use anything harsher than that. I use this soap for all of my makeup brushes. So that's the soap I'm going to use. Also, I am going to just lightly, since these are clean or should be clean, there's really no makeup to remove. So I may or may not use this little silicone mat here, but I'll have it here just in case. But this is the soap that I will use and let's see how they do. I am looking forward to see if they will dry up again with the same softness and see if there's any uh, bristle fallout. Just gonna use a little bit of warm water. I am also gonna wash this Kabuki brush. I'm gonna remove the red ribbon and I am going to wash these sponges as well. So I'm washing everything because it's brand new and I don't want it to irritate my skin. I want to give it an honest review. So that's what I'm gonna do. I also washed two of the pink sponges just to get all of the impurities from shipping and manufacturing and whatnot. Now I'm gonna wash the strawberry one. So this is how big the pink one got and I'm hoping that the little greenery from the strawberry does not fall off. So let's see how it does. Look at how big the strawberry got. It did pretty well. Everything did pretty well actually. So I'm just gonna dry up the brushes. Uh, I will let you know that once you wet them, this one is still a lot more firmer than this one. This one's very, very soft and squishy. This one is not so squishy. Okay, so I'm gonna let my brushes air dry. I'm not gonna leave them like this. I will have them upside down, but these are done. So I did clean them and I am pretty rough with my brushes. I'm rough with all of my brushes and the brushes that I have now, like I said, are like It Cosmetics and Sephora and they have uh, really uh, done well throughout the years. So uh, I have no complaints about those brushes. And so I wanna be equally the same with these brushes. So for what these brushes cost, uh, they better do well. Now, as far as what I observed while I was washing them, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty rough with cleaning my brushes to ensure that they get pretty clean. And I know that these were not dirty because they were brand new. I did not observe any bristle fall fallout at all no bristle fallout, which is great right there. And um, I'm gonna wait for them to dry to see if they still maintain their softness. Right now, these do feel a little soft still, um, but uh, I'm happy that there was no bristle fallout. I was afraid that that was going to happen and that was gonna be a total no for me. But luckily they held up for my vigorous washing. The sponges, this one is a lot firmer than this one. This one is so, so, so soft. And of course this one, but the strawberry is a lot firmer. I'm not sure how that'll do during application. I might just use the lighter pink ones. Other than that, um, I'm gonna let them uh, air dry. I'm gonna have them upside down and I'm going to be using them. And I hope that I will be a fan of Spectrum brushes from this point on.
now I took about a week and a half and I really wanted to give my honest review for these brushes. They were a total of 14 brushes and I showed them to you on the first video, but let me just show you what I ended up with. So they're pretty dirty because I did use them. So in a nutshell, these are all of the brushes. They're beautiful brushes. Pink is absolutely my favorite and you guys know that. Um, but like I said, these aren't dirty because I have been using them. So what do I think of these brushes and do I recommend it for you to buy? So let's go ahead and first uh, look back as to exactly what did I get. So according to the packing slip from Spectrum, I got a 10 piece uh, fluffy pancake brush set, a four piece uh, face sponge set, a sugar cube kabuki brush, a strawberry sponge set, and a milk carton bag. Now that gives you a total of the 14 brushes, three sponges, and a big kabuki brush with this awesome milk carton bag. And I had said, you know what, with this bag makes everything worth it, right? So now, really, what do I really think about these brushes? So I've already purchased them. I have no intentions of returning them. Um, and I am about to enter my review also at the Spectrum's Collections website as well. So now this was the last day. I did my makeup early um, and I used all of my brushes and um, I do like I like the application. I like the application to all of the brushes. Now, I will say that uh, I still think though that these are like super synthetic. All of the brushes that I own are synthetic, but these for whatever reason just seem like more plasticky, more synthetic, the feel. Um, so when I applied my foundation, it, they are soft, but I still felt like I was still brushing my face, like if I was just buffering uh, my face. That's just how it felt to me because I'm already used to the IT Cosmetic brushes. I'm used to the Sephora Professional Collection brushes, and that's pretty much what I stick with. I do have some Morphe brushes. Um, I might have like a Sigma brush and maybe a few other brands, but our drugstore brands, they're not really uh, brands that I'm gonna go ahead and go to like department store to buy. As far as these brushes, uh, I will say though that uh, is for the many brushes that these are, I would say that you would get face and eye, lip if any uh, brushes. Um, and I did, however, um, I wish that the, they would have included a bigger face brush. Uh, so this is the foundation brush, but still I would have preferred it to be a little bit bigger I felt that it was a little too small and ju I just needed to work really fast so that foundation Wouldn't dry up. I do use liquid foundation I did not apply any powder foundations with any of these brushes for the week and a half that I tried these brushes so I did use liquid foundation and I just felt that I needed to work really fast to kind of blend in and because it was so small, I felt that maybe I was going to be having some spots that I might have missed. So I tried uh, to go over again uh, to be able to blend the foundation with the foundation brush. Uh, as far as the, uh, the blush brush, again, the, it was I think too stiff for me. Um, and the thing was is that if I didn't use this one, okay, well maybe I can use this one, but they feel the same. There is no difference other than this one has more bristles than this one, for example, or this one has about the same amount of bristles as this one, but um, this is the angled brush, but they still felt the same. It felt like, well, if I'm gonna use this one, it kind of feels the same as if I use this one. Um, instead of maybe including a little bit more bristles, making it a little bit more fuller. Again, it could just be that I am just set on the brushes that I use. Uh, but as for example, for a blush brush, I felt that this was a little too stiff. Perhaps it could have been a little longer and a little fuller to really coat 
um, the blush, uh, at least how I like my application. So that is uh, my input on that. Now, as far as the eye brushes, um, I felt that this was like, whoa, like way too big. So I wanna go back and just give you the numbers of the brushes that I was referring to. Foundation brush, the 802, I thought was a little too small for it to be like a foundation brush. The blush brush that I was using was the C07. I thought it could have been a little bit longer bristles, a little bit more fuller. M05, which is the one I used for contour. So I only used it here. You know blend it in my face you know chinned my uh, outline my chin this was actually perfect it was the right size the right length of bristles and it really did blend my bronzer for that so i really like that as far as trying to contour my face so this was a win-win for me um i didn't really use d04 which is like a stripling brush i really didn't use and maybe I could have used this one as a blush brush uh, but I was gravitating more towards the one that has more uh, bristles so I really didn't use this one going to the eye I felt that uh, brush B05 was like whoa like this is huge this could be definitely like a concealer brush but what I did was I used it for an all over um, eyeshadow brush so as soon as I do my eyeshadow primer, I then go with just a just a basic white eyeshadow and I use this one for all over to kind of mattify the primer. I will say that the brush that I disliked was the A18 uh, and this is the one for your concealer. This is so harsh, so stiff. This one you really do prick yourself. I couldn't use this one. I tried uh, even to even put the primer for my eyeshadow on my eyelids and it is just too stiff. Um, I don't know. I know that uh, concealer brushes are normally like this, but this one, for whatever reason, I just couldn't. I felt that it should have been a little bit more softer, even though these are supposed to be firm, but it, it was just not comfortable to use. So I didn't use this one after the first application. Um, as far as all of the others, you do get a wide variety of the eyeshadow brushes and they're great. They really are great and they applied great, I thought. For the makeup that I'm using right now, again, I used all of these brushes and they work wonderful. absolutely love the A17 and this brush was perfect for under, uh, under the eye liner also for above eye. So for example, on my makeup look today, I did not use liquid eyeliner. I used a black eyeshadow. I mixed it in a little bit with face primer and it made it a little bit liquidy. And then that's what I applied and this went on smoothly with this brush. So this is obviously a win-win for me. The one that I really liked as well was the A09 and it has that tilt. And this was also perfect for under the eye. I really like this one too. All the others were great for eyeshadow. Uh, again, I did feel the difference between the brushes that I'm already used to, the brand names, to these brushes. This brush, the A33, this is the fan brush, and of course this is the one that I used for highlighting and it went on smoothly as well. I really like that it was a little bit stiff, not too loose, so it was just right for me to apply, you know, my um, highlighter. So I always do above the cheeks, a little bit on my nose, and then Cupid's bow here above my lips. And I really like this brush here. Um, last brush was this Kabuki brush. So I use this one as an all over powder face brush. And so after I'm done with my makeup, I use this brush to just blend everything in and boom, that is what I used and it was perfect for that. It is not too loose, not too stiff, just right amount of bristles and it's just so cute. So it was perfect. So there were just a little bit of uh, brushes that I did not like versus the ones that I really did like. Overall impressions, they're beautiful brushes. They're pink, which is what I like. The hardware here is rose gold, 
bristles are pink. I mean, you just cannot go wrong. They have Hello Kitty on them. You see the little Hello Kitty bows on them as well. They're very different sizes. I wish that there would have been a better foundation brush for sure, uh, a better blush brush. Uh, but as far as the eye brushes, they were right on. And of course, the all over face brush, the Kabuki brush was awesome. So, um, do I now recommend for you to buy Spectrum Collection brushes? And especially if you want to invest in the Hello Kitty brushes, I would say sure. Because if you were to compare it to, let's just say Morphe. I am not going to compare these to the same line as It Cosmetic or the Sephora Professional brushes. Because uh, there's just no way. These fall way below those two brands. Now, uh, Morphe also has their professional line as well, but if but if you are going to use just regular Morphe brushes, and I have used regular Morphe brushes, not the professional line Morphe brushes, I have even thrown those away because their bristles end up falling out and they're not as soft. So that is the category that I am putting these in. I would definitely uh, purchase these versus the Morphe brushes only because I did not experience any bristle fallout. And like I said, I cleaned these before and I made sure that I was vigorous. My IT Cosmetic brushes or my Sephora Professional Collection brushes, these did not fall out. They cleaned very well and I did use that silicone mat. So perfect. Well, that is awesome there. Um, and they come in a collection. So I'm quoting you $130 for the whole collection. Um, and it really is not bad if you count everything because remember it also comes with three sponges That is not bad of a price if you are going to be doing piece meals instead of well I want to buy the whole collection. Obviously you will save a lot more. So what if I would have purchased these piecemeal? All of this collection was $130, but if I would have purchased these separately just the Hello Kitty Strawberry Sponge Set was $19. The Hello Kitty 4-Piece Brush Set was $29. The Hello Kitty Sugar Cube Kabuki Brush, $19. The 10-Piece Fluffy Pancake Brush Set was $66. And then the Cute Sake Handbag, $44, a total of $177. Only spent $130 before tax shipping and handling. So that it's like if I got this little cutie handbag for free. I think that's definitely a win-win. And I am so happy that I have my brushes here. Very durable, they are very pretty. They're Hello Kitty, hello. Um, and they are very unique. So most definitely I recommend for you to purchase these if you were waiting on my review to see should I, should I not. They're unique guys. You're not going to get brushes like these anywhere else that is unique to the Hello Kitty brand. So those are my thoughts. Do with it what you will and let me know if you have purchased these brushes, if you purchased the whole collection. Let me know uh, what are your thoughts on that. Did you really enjoy the brushes? Uh, and this bag is awesome. It's just so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. It was well worth the purchase, definitely. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.